Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this channel. Okay, so this is very, 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 this is a very good news for all of us uh, living in New York City. Remember, living in New York City, not New York State, because New York State, you know, uh, uh, most of those states still on the pay. So those of us living in New York City, there is a great news out there. Okay, it's not a news, it's a fact. Uh, a few hospital just give a 20% increase. You, you heard me right, 20% increase. And one of the one of this uh, hospital give a 15%, and there's another hospital that give 10%. The reason for this increase, this is not a national increase. This is for this is a New York City. The reason for this increase is shortage yes you heard it shortage there is a there is a lack of clinical laboratory scientists now the moment i'm talking now and uh, i believe not too many people know about this field so when i was trying to get to physician assistant program right i didn't know about clinical laboratory science as if when introduced it to me when it introduced this program to me, I start taking classes. And before I know, I finish the program before I get into the physician assistant program. Uh, before I know it, I pass my ASAP before I even get it to the physician assistant program. And next thing I know, I start making money before I get into the physician assistant program. Listen, you, there's a program out there I'm not going to compare them. They're all different to each other. And the job is different to one another. Nursing and a nurse don't know, don't know what's going on in the lab. He know The nurse know to, to send you a specimen. They know to put in a specific tube. You know, hey, they do not know the science behind the test the reason why is because that they don't study the science maybe i'm not sure but what's going on is if you're a clinical laboratory scientist you know what's going on behind those tests you know why you want those tests you you see if something fishy you know why it's fishy right you know why there might be a contamination uh on those specimen you know what's going on you know that's why you go to, to school. That's why you, you study the program, right? So, the shortage is not only clinical laboratory scientists that's short, you know, nursing, you name it. The medical field has a very big shortage. No, they, the, they try to attract technologists. So, a uh, couple of hospitals. 20% is no joke, man. It's a good increase based on what we will make. I mean, if they are just 20% and whatever they're making, that's good. So, 20% and on 15% and there's another 10%. This is just the beginning because once that happens, right, the news is going to spread all over the place. It, it, as of June 21st, 2021, okay, this increase just happened. June 21st, 2021. So, they are the hospital going to adjust their salary. They have to. Because no hospital or, or uh, call lab or reference lab want to lose technologies. None of them want to lose technologies due to the fact that they shot, we've been overworked. I'm telling you, we've been overworked. It's always good, but we've been overworked due to the fact that there's not enough people doing the job. And this is patient care. You cannot leave it and walk away. So one thing to expect, okay, if you come into New York, I'm not sure for other places, expect to work. You're going to work because you probably have to do the job of two technologies. Yes, there's there's work out there. Right? You make your money, but expect to work. And you know, only a few hospitals that not very coordinated hospital, you know, might be a little slow than another. But you know, level one trauma, you go into work, you know, and 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 there's a shortage. The reason you work a lot is because there's a shortage. That you know, you gonna want all over the place probably cover two stations you probably working in hematology and cover coagulation you know 
and then that's what's going on in my place so i'm working whenever i'm working in hematology i'm covering i'm covering for kuwag kuwag is not a very busy uh, station you know but urine analysis is busy it's not a crazy station urine analysis is a is easy station but busy station so due to the fact and uh, most of the hospital uh bring what what i call uh uh an instrument to the microscopic for you you know just because it's, the, the, the station is busy you will never stop coming it just keep coming so if you come in if you come into new york city because the salary is beautiful the salary is nice expect to work now, before you pack your bag and rush to New York City, you have to remember this. This, this is a few hospitals that just give that increase. The other hospital going to fall off. So if, don't ask me which hospital it is, listen. I can't tell you. <laughs> I cannot name the hospitals on the channel for a lot of reasons. So don't inbox me and ask me which hospital. You know, if you have your friends, your close friends, your family live in New York City, you know, send them some messages. Tell, tell them to investigate for you. They'll find, you know, the news, you know, the news is out there. You'll find out, right? You'll find out which hospital. But before you pack your bag, expect to work. And then before you pack your bag, you got to make sure you have a license. Do not come to New York, uh, New York City without a clinical laboratory license. Scientist, clinical laboratory scientist license or ASAP board certification. So basically New York only accepts ASAP board certification. So you have to have ASAP board certification before you can apply for a New York state license. So before you come to New York, make sure you take your exam. So I have video about uh, study guide books uh, to give you to pass this, uh, to knock it out in one shot. And I have another video to give you tricks or to pass this exam when you get there so uh, i'll put the link you know i'll put the link for you if you want to find out uh, uh how to pass this board asap exam the trick to you to do to do it and then the books review books very good books that it does you know you if you work in dad mom you know that doesn't have enough not a lot of time use those books you know they will they will this this book is straight to the point give you the information you need to know and you knock it out so now i have my paper right there i'm not talking crap i have information so what this is one of the hospital one of the hospital listen to this for a technologist zero to one year you will start in eighty two thousand. okay a year which is 39.42 there's a start pay for zero to one year when i start this field i start pay was 28 dollars an hour 28 dollars an hour when i started you come from out of school you're making 39 almost 40 39 42 39 dollars and 42 cents if you have a one to two year of experience, uh, let me see, you're making eighty three thousand dollars a year. And for those of us who have four to five years, four to five years of experience. Okay, I'm looking at a 95k right there. Okay, 95k right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that's enough. If you're over 20 years and like probably 17 and up, I think uh -huh, this, this go to 15 to 20 years salary and. Uh, 20 years of pro and, and up so if you make for 20 years you're making 112,000 uh, 100 and yeah 100 and uh, something so good news for New York City clinical laboratory scientists so remember 
if you like this information if you like the, what i'm putting out there remember to subscribe share this information with your friends let everybody know that there's a program called clinical laboratory scientist cls program out there and bring people to the field right very good feel i love it i love my job and like you can see i talk a lot about it and i feel bad to see not too many people know knows about this field so uh, spread the news the salary is good it's getting better maybe not good yet i don't know what should i say man? i don't know so thank you for all your love and support Thank you for all your thoughts and comments. Keep them coming. Hit me. Some messages. Like and subscribe. Send your message. Don't let everybody know. I'll tell you in secret what's going on.